Good morning, Atlantis. It's time to do that delicate dance in the dark and dock with Mir. Well, oh, thanks, Houston. I uh, hope we can find Mir easier than I found the speaker or the microphone in the dark. It's about uh, 320 miles ahead of you. You're closing 140 miles of rev. And if you could throw the tips on, uh, we have a little bit of KU. We can send you your flight plan. Roger, and uh, just to report, we have a tally-ho on uh, Dave's new home, mirrors in the Coez. About half a degree uh, to the left and uh, up. Roger. Десятую. Сто сорок семь. Oh, we got it, Mike. And when this one's done, I have another one of the centerline camera. Well, we're sure not going to turn that offer down. Yeah. 
Только что-то тебя очень тихо слышно. Поправь, пожалуйста, Дэм. Борис, 53 загорелось? This live television coming uh, from the shuttle Atlantis from payload bay cameras, looking up the orange docking module, uh, right above it, the Crystal Science module, and right above uh, the payload bay of Atlantis. That is the uh, Soyuz capsule attached uh, to the Mir space station. Uh, right uh, above it, uh, the Perota module with a large uh, radar antenna attached to it. The Spectre module is off to the right. The Quant uh, 2 module is on the left. And Houston, here comes B inertial Vern. Roger. Thank you. 
Jim, we sure can, and it looks great. Well, Houston, uh, you cannot believe the number of times that several of us on board said unbelievable on our way up here, either with the scene, the views, uh, the procedures we had, but just the fact that we were doing this, none of us can, can still believe it. And I just had a shock when I looked out the window over here and saw Atlantis. It took us a while to get to the mirror core module here, uh, and I didn't realize how far away Atlantis was. Uh, we'd like to thank all of the people down on the Earth who, it, it's a tremendous amount of teamwork required to put something like this together, and we had discussions all the way up when we were in uh, coup quarters in quarantine just before coming up regarding the procedures and what do we do uh, if we have failures, and, and just both sides of the ocean worked on this flight uh, for a long time, and we want to thank everybody who worked on it. Uh, we think this is a great crew, the 10 of us. There was a lot of discussion about the risk. We are here to tell you, all 10 of us, that we think the benefits far outweighs the risk, and that's why we're here, and uh, we're really enjoying it. This is a great ship. I can't believe it. I saw it two years ago from 30 feet, which is not very far away. But it turns out it was really far away compared to uh, the last 30 feet and then coming all the way in to the Mir base block. Today, Atlantis has again uh, come to the Mir station as the crew has performed a wonderful docking. And today, we start and, that is to say, continue the Mir NASA program that has been going on for several years, and we are very happy that step by step and every step that we take is very uh, firm and measured that will lead us to the performance of new uh, tasks that uh, are required to be done, both in Moscow and in Houston. I wanted to send greetings to all the specialists that have prepared these programs on the ground and to greet the crew that has come onto the Mir station. And we are sure and with great enthusiasm will perform the entire program that has been planned for our crews and for our joint operation in this joint complex. And this is your crew of the future. Several of us have flown together before. We hope to fly together in the future. And for the next six days, we are working together as a single crew to transfer uh, much equipment. And this is the wave of the future. You see the different uh, international shirts that we have on, Russian, American, and French. And this is what will take us into the next uh, century in space. Well, I have to say, quite simply, that this is one of the, the proudest moments of my life to be a part of such a, uh, a bold uh, international cooperation, a program that's bringing the world much, much closer together, and I look forward to the rest of this flight and to the future uh, as we uh, build the International Space Station, and I hope very shortly to uh, be going back to the moon and on to Mars with an international crew very similar to the one that you see before you today. Uh, we're very happy with Jean-Louis to be on the station after nine years of absence. And a while approaching the station, we were very impressed by its wonderful view. And we see what a great uh, enterprise this is, and compare it to what it was nine years ago and what it is now, it has significantly grown in many ways in terms of uh, volume and equipment and the uh, quantity of work. It is particularly pleasant that the station has continued to operate, and it is pleasant uh, to think of our engineers and designers and cosmonauts who perform the operations with this station. I hope that we will fully complete the program that lies before us and we'll, we'll make the next step, as it were, for the future crews on this station. Hey, Phil, this is Dave. 
up here in the base block. I, I thought I'd pass on a first impression to you. I think you'd really like it up here because there's more equipment and gizmos and ham radios and computers to play with and work with than you can believe. It's just the kind of place you'd love, Bill. I can believe it, Dave. Uh, actually, you have been here to see it <laughs> now that I think about it, and uh, I'm going to like this. There's, there's a lot to work with here. Yeah, Dave, it, it's just, uh, which is fantastic. We're awfully proud of you being up there, especially a uh, good old uh, SLS2 crew, one more SLS2 crew member up on Mir. Well, it's fun talking to you uh, on the ground and with you in space. Uh, I think I'm going to have to kick Mike out of here. He's not going to want to go, uh, I get a feeling. Now, he's anxious to see his family and all that, but there's things he said he's going to miss. I just like to thank everybody for doing such a super job getting these guys off the ground and up in space and uh, towards towards Space Station Mir. I do actually want to go home. Uh, they've just been telling me how my son has grown up about twice the height that he was when I was on the Earth, and I want to have him talk to me in person. But uh, these are great guys, and I'm looking forward to working with them the next few days and returning to my family.